Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Europa League jersey review. Yes, it's a bit late thanks to the World Cup. We are entering the quarterfinal stage as I'm uh, recording this. But so be it, there are still some really nice jerseys to look at. It's a very eclectic mix. Actually, we have quite a few brands and uh, it's actually Adidas who have the most, most teams in here with seven. Then we have Nike with six and Puma Macron each with five and then a couple of uh, brands with two uh, or only one team. So that is exciting to have an eclectic mix. Also, we have a good selection uh, of countries in the countries that we usually don't uh, really talk that much on this channel. Now, within uh, this video, um, if there's a team that I've already covered, I will just give you the jersey and the grade. Uh, and if they have released me uh, since the last review a jersey, even if it's not one in the Europa League, I will briefly talk about that one. For teams that we have not covered yet or that are in smaller leagues, um, I usually will go through the entire set of jerseys. However, the whole thing might not be super precise because sometimes it's not very uh, clear which jerseys were worn where and, you know, it's, it's sometimes hard to research. All the pictures, the jerseys that I have in this video, I took from Football Kit Archive, link in the description below, uh, a page that I can highly recommend. I rate all these jerseys on a scale from one being the worst to 10 being the best. And uh, then we will go group by group. You see here all uh, the teams that we have here. Groups A and B will be in video one, groups uh, C and D in video two, uh, E and F in video three, and G and H in video four. And so, I would say let's get started with groups E and F, which means we're looking at United, Real Sociedad, Sheriff from Tiraspol, Omonia from Cyprus, Lazio, Feyenoord, Midtjylland and Sturm Graz. The latter group was of course the crazy one where all teams finished level on points and had to come down to goal difference. And let's start with United, which you already saw in our Premier League jersey review, the home jersey, while having a classic look. There are a few things that I don't uh, enjoy all, all the much, so I gave it seven. I really enjoy the away jersey. I would have loved if Milan would have gotten something like that from Adidas. It's an eight star jersey. And then the third jersey is just awful. Let's uh, face it, that's a two star jersey. I think the lowest grade I've dished out so far. Uh, in there. Going over to La Liga, uh, Real Sociedad, we also saw those in the La Liga jersey review, a really pleasing home jersey. I like all the patterning within the stripes. Maybe the way that the center stripe and the collar connect is a little bit off, but other than that, a really nice one. Uh, that was an eight, um, eight star jersey. The away jersey I find very interesting and I'm going back and forth. Is it really good? Is it, is it not? Maybe the monochromatic crest uh, turns me a little bit off. But all over there's something about it and I gave this seven star. However, Real Sociedad has also released a third jersey. I have used a third jersey in orange, which kind of makes a little bit sense. To, um, and so on. But it, it looks exactly what it is. It's a template jersey from Macron where we have a, a crest slapped on. Nothing exciting, nothing special. I even wonder why we have black on there. Uh, if that was white, well, was white, I think it would make a whole lot more sense. This is nothing special. I'm gonna give this a four star. Let's go all the way to uh, Moldova or actually uh, Transnistria. And unfortunately, I don't have a better pick picture. This is from the clash between uh, Sheriff and Omonia. So we look at the black jerseys here. Sheriff uh, have issued, a, it's a template Adidas jersey in black. We have the white sweat stains on under there, which I don't quite understand. The crest is applied monochromatically. Black, that's the best thing I, I can say for it. But overall, it's a rather disappointing, uh, boring shirt. I even find the color a little bit off. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go five here, but it's nothing really special. Uh, the away jersey, as far as I know and I've seen on Football Kid Archive, carries over from last season's Champions League campaign in yellow with the interesting pattern sleeves. Although, you know, we have the black uh, crest 
wouldn't be yellow and black a little bit better? I, I never enjoy uh, yellow and white to to to, to be honest. I find the template in, interesting, but also, uh, yeah, so, and it's a kind of an old temp 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 template as well from two seasons ago. Nothing special overall. Um, I'm also gonna give this five stars. It's a whole lot more interesting for Ammonia. Uh, what Macron delivered for the home jer jersey, which we saw already before, is really cool. Uh, the hoops, it's very much a Celtic uh, look in, in a way. I totally love the color uh, and the, everything looks and how the sponsor fee fits in that. This is a very well crafted jer uh, a jersey. There's something about um, horizontal bands in green and white that I start enjoying a whole lot. I'm almost ashamed to say, given that Rapid have been using that one. And that's not a team that I really like. Nine stars. I really, really like this one. Um, the away jersey, I know it makes kind of sense, but not, not necessary to me. I do like the color. Uh, the mint green, I get it. I get it, uh, but I think for me it's not a special uh, a jersey. It is carried. The color is pretty cool. I gotta say, I probably would have enjoyed that one better in white, uh, if I'm honest. But you know, I get it why it's kind of mix mixing the two main colors of the club together. Uh, six star for me, and then uh, they have been using some red jerseys. I hear the league version in Europe. They have a slightly different sponsor. Uh, I, it's kind of a little bit Macron doing this Nike template with the pattern sleeves in a way, uh, but I have to have, have said the green crest on, on the red, there's some sauce or something about it. That's not so bad, but overall it's a rather average, uh, jersey. I don't even think it's as good as the away jersey overall, although I think the color is pretty cool. Uh, I give it five stars. And we are going to the crazy group F. Lazio with Mizuno. We've seen them in the Serie A jersey review, of course, already. The home home jersey, I think, is overall quite nice. Eight stars with all the patterning in there. Of course, not as nice as the one that I have hanging back there, but it's a classic Lazio away look. I really enjoy this third jersey. And although the colors are not really Lazio, uh, kind of this band around the Mizuno uh, in all these colors. It's pretty cool. I got I got it and the old style crest kind of tops it off. This is uh, this def definitely winner. Nine stars and um, even the third jersey is by far not a bad one. I gave that one a seven star, although it's clearly the it's clearly the worst of all the, the ones that have, have been released and still a rather strong look. We also saw Feyenoord already, a team that I'm wearing um, in the, uh, the, the Eredivisie jersey review up there. One of my favorite Adidas jerseys this season is this really nicely crafted uh, home jersey. jersey. There is, maybe the sponsor is too big, but there's really nothing I can say about it that's bad. It's a 10 star shirt. Uh, the away jersey, I have to say, has been growing on me. Uh, I would have liked a little, maybe a little bit of stronger shade of green, but I have, I have to say it pairs very well with the uh, red and the white. Maybe the monochromatic fan or crest is a little bit off, but uh, this one that I enjoy more and more the more I see it. It's seven stars. And the third jersey, yes, the pink and the black is a little bit off. What's most of uh, is the triangular sweat stain, atomic sweat stain uh, below the arms. There, that, 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 that's the one that bugs me most, and that's why I gave this only six stars. Let's move over to Denmark uh, with FC Mid Jylland, and we'll start with the home jersey worn in the Europa League. Uh, very similar to the one that they've been wearing last year in the Champions League. And I have to say, uh, of course, as a Milan fan, I will always like it, but I really enjoy this. The white, white with black and red accents is a very pleasing combination. Uh, it's also interesting that the black band gets thinner the further it goes down, which kind of gives it a little bit more of a dynamic look overall. Maybe the one thing is that the sponsor uh, doesn't quite fit the band where it is on, but at least it is not 
a box boss once it's with outline so that makes it better but i think uh you could have started out with a little bit thicker but then the crest also doesn't quite go over by the way uh guess what the crest is meant to be it's a wolf yes it's a wolf it's one of those crests that it took me a long time to see what this is supposed to be although if i look at it now i see more a bear than a wolf but you know okay so so be it i do enjoy this one i think this is a really nice one a few things they added that off but i i think i'm gonna go with a nine star here the league home jersey is just a template it's black and we have seen seen it before for as well black with some red accents uh, nothing really bad but uh it's a little bit too much average uh to to me uh six stars i mean the color scheme work, works well uh, and then the third jersey, I think there is a um, uh, a map of the region on there, but purple as a contrast to black, that doesn't make much sense to me. And then, you know, monochromatic crest, I think uh, I would have liked to see a red, this in red with a black accent would make a little bit more sense personally to me. However, who am I to judge? Well, I'm going to judge this jersey. Um, it's a four. Although that map is really, 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 really cool. The map is really, 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 really cool. But of everything else, I'm not so fond of. And we'll end it in Austria. Now, uh, Sturm Graz, we already looked at it in detail about what they were wearing in the league. And you can see this in the Austrian Bundesliga jerseys, especially a super home jersey. However, in the Europa League, they have they have issued uh, your European jerseys, and I have, have to say, they are rather underwhelming. Uh, the home jersey is just plain black. Everything black and white. Given how glorious the Sturm home jersey is in, in the league, this one is just uh, bland, to be honest. It's one of those colors, but it is what it is. It's a uh, template jersey, crest, and a simple sponsor. Uh, it just, I actually want to give this four for a black jer jersey and for the away jersey. Uh, same thing, it's just with a blue sponsor. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't make it look, look, look better. Also gonna go four here. Sorry, I think Sturm has one of the best home jerseys in the Austrian league but not in the Europa League. So we're done with it. Since we've covered already many teams of those uh, in here in previous vi videos, this was a rather short one. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below which jerseys you liked and which ones you disliked here. And I will surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!